back, I'm Sue Wilson, and I have a card showing off our Gemini dies today. These are our mini Geminis, actually. They're a little bit uh, smaller in size than the original Geminis. And I've had a lot of people ask me about how to use Geminis, so I thought it'd be nice to show a card where you can do something different with them. I'm going to be using the Era mini Gemini to create a frame. And the center of the card is the heraldic squares. Okay, we're gonna do a little cutting first and just a, a bit of explanation on uh, how these Gemini dies work. They come in three sections. So there's a decorative inner section and two separate cutting edges, okay? So I'm gonna just pop a piece of coconut white card down, take my center section and our cutting edges. Now, the, the nice thing about these is you can use them at the bottom of a card um, with one cutting edge, so you can just cut a real pretty decorative edge for it. Um, you can actually use it completely without the cutting edges, so you have a decorative cut out of the card that will still uh, stay. And you can also use the other side separately or together. So they are um, completely different looking on top and bottom, so you can turn it around to go any way you like. Now, if you'll notice, as I push it in as tight as it'll go, the two cutting edges come together, but they don't actually touch. But I'm gonna tape that into place just like that, okay? And I'm gonna run it through the brand caliber. Give it a quick cut. So now if you're using the dies with both cutting edges together, what you do need to understand is that you will have to take your scissors and nip that just that little itty bitty spot right there on either side. Let me untape. There we go. And carefully take this out. In fact, I'll tell you what let's do. Let's give it a quick run with our tool in one. Take out the big spots there. And we can undo this. And I'll get to the other side here where I do need to do one more tiny little nip, right like that, to take it out of the card. That's the downside to having separate cutting edges, but I think it's so minuscule with the different things that you can do with the separate cutting edges that it was worth it. Okay, so you can see how pretty this is. Let me get that little bit extra out. Now, to create the kind of border that we're making, I'm going to use a piece of the Wisteria card and I'm going to take the cutting edges and put them together and just touch them, going back and taping them in place. Just get them lined up as straight as you can. There you go. And we're gonna run that back through to create a backing card for our border. Okay, take this out. Now you will still also have to um, nip these. It's a little bit tighter there. There you go. But because those just butt up to each other, they're not a continuous cut, you will always have to nip away the extra bit. So then you can glue these together so you have a really pretty decorative top piece with a colored base underneath if you like, or it could be white on white, whatever you choose, okay? But very simple to do. All right, so next thing, I've gone ahead and cut one of the heraldic squares, and there's a separate cutting edge that will cut that center out, which I've omitted for this, and just use the decorative insert piece. In fact, I'll just quickly show it to you. Outer section, so you have that real pretty outer uh, piece. I've left out this cutting edge, and I've cut it with this in the center, and just centered it in the middle there. So that will give you this beautiful uh, die cut. So the next thing I want to do is what I call sugar it. So I'm going to just bring in a piece of copy paper and my diamond sprinkles. We'll get that all ready. And because this is really detailed, one of the easiest way to do this is with just a little bit of spray glue. I'm just going to spray both halves. Pop that down and just sprinkle that on top. There we go. Let me just tip this back into my container. You don't want to waste any of that. 
tidy up. Okay, so you can see I've just put a little bit of bling onto that absolutely beautiful piece. Um, because of all the detail in there, I find that the spray glue is the very easiest way to do this. So I've created a background for my card with a little bit of piercing. I've got the um, uh, wisteria card in there just to kind of tie that color in. And I'm going to add a little bit of glue to the back of this and center it right in the middle. Just to put some Cosmic Shimmer Dries Clear glue in some of the larger areas here to hold it. There we go. And let's see how centered I can get that. Mm. That's about eyeball center. Give that a second to set up. And I've gone ahead and created four of these um, Gemini borders like I showed you earlier with a little bit of mounting foam. So we're going to pop them into place. One at the top here. I'll bring these in. And let's do this side, about like that. And I've just put the mounting foam right in the center because what I'm going to do is overlap the tops here. And I've got all this side pointing outward on my frame. And about like that. There we go. That looks really nice. So you see how nice and easy you can use these to not only do the bottoms of your cards or borders and whatnot, but you can also create a frame with them. So let's finish this off with our sentiment. I'm going to just use the inside oval from the Montreal set. And I've stamped a sentiment here and we will just pop a little tape around that to make sure it's nice and straight. There. Okay. Give it a quick cut. And I'm going to do a little bit of inking before we put that on there. So let's just move these out of the way. I'm going to use shaded lilac because that matches that wisteria card really nicely. And I'm going to tape this from the back just to hold it into place. I find that's the easiest way to do this. And I want to make sure I don't have any kind of voids where that tape is on the front either. So removing it from the front is, is a really easy thing to do and just pop it onto the back. So that'll hold that into place. So I've got a smoothie, a little bit of ink, and just make sure I don't have it too dark. I'm just going to go in a little bit on the edge first, kind of work my way up. And I'd rather do a little bit all the way around and then go back over it and make it a little bit heavier if I like or if, it, if I feel it needs that. If you get too much ink on there to begin with, it's very, very difficult to get that off. So you want to just build up layers. There we go. And even though it probably doesn't look like there's much on there, when you take off that dye, you can really see that. So let's pop that into place. So you can see I've got just a really lovely shading all the way around that. And let's just use a little bit of glue on the back of this. I think that'll be the quickest way. And I went ahead and used the inside of the Toronto die. They're both out of that uh, Canadian collection. Just slightly larger, so it makes a perfect mat size for that. And I've cut that out of the, um, the wisteria, so you've got a really pretty matted sentiment. And we'll put that right into the middle of our card. Now, Remember, we glittered that with the diamond sprinkles, so you want to add a little bit of glue just to make sure it sets up nicely. Put that right into the middle. Give it a second. There we go. How quick and easy was that? Really love the way those Gemini look. And you know, you can change that color to suit any kind of occasion or maybe whatever color your recipient likes. Hope you've enjoyed today's video. There are so many more videos for you to see on our Creative Expressions YouTube channel. I hope you'll join in and watch. Take care. Mm -hmm.